Good day folks, just to follow up on the initial prototype here. And for those who want to see the uh, power readings, I did that in a previous video, so I'm not going to bother doing that again. And again, this is basically just the pre-driver stage for something much bigger. So we're off to a good start here just for the driver stage. And to show that, you know, I'm not basically cheating, all I have to use to drive it is this, this little 12 volt power supply. I can't really, I don't think this is more than half an amp. Very minimal on the input, it's just a trigger. And the whole idea is for the output to drive basically our high voltage stage, which is the um like don smith was doing but in here it's all built in here so we got our high voltage generator oscillator step up multiplier and then we get a dc output here very high voltage spike so essentially what's interesting is 120 kilovolts 10 watt spikes here but of course 10 watt spikes right it's not the continuous power it's just the peak power but that's okay because like don smith was doing with his coils and filters and all that we can shape that into a slower real 60 hertz current that's the next system but we first need to drive our generator efficiently is a good start so i'm just going to plug this in to show you the high voltage generator really works well and we're basically driving it with very little power very efficiently here. So I'm just gonna bring the power up here. I'm gonna plug this in, all right. So because <laughs> I'm still, this is so primitive, I don't wanna charge myself off the case here because there's a switch to turn it off and on here. Um, I'm just gonna switch it manually like this so I can, without shocking myself, right? Because when I turn it off the switch, it's metal. <laughs> Learned that once, right? So there you go, this is all charged up now. And look at the, these sparks, very. So yeah, imagine that hitting into the coils with our LC circuits, but we're not there yet. But I'm just generating this for very, very little. So now I'm gonna like this so I don't get zapped here. And now since I've discharged, it should be okay. So now we can turn it off. So just to show you how we're at, it's a little demo that it does run the high voltage stuff, no problem, but it's not incompatible. Spikes is not what we need, so we need to transduce that. That's, you know, the uh, phase two, essentially. So to show you that there's a lot of high power here, here it is driving the um, high voltage stage and everything. So here's a Tesla-like coil I got over here, one wire driving that and uh, the other wire go into the coil in here and on the output of the tesla coil the smaller wire that coils all around here and now it goes on the side of the lamp here and these are massive discharges i could feel it from my hand over here and there's the spark you can see and it's so much that you can actually see the cable moving at every discharge See that? And this is going to ground over here on the other side of the coax here. So one side is dumping to ground, and I've got the lamp here, and it builds up a capacitance and then discharges through the LC circuitry. Slowed it down there because I wanted to show you what it does with the wire. Every impulse actually moves the wire. So that's a lot. We just have to transform this, speed it up a little bit here. This is just to show you on a slow speed what's going on here. 
and there's some of the capture methods I'm working on. And uh, ag again, essentially just working our way up to something much bigger. And um, these things are very powerful. I could actually feel the discharges from here. It's really weird. Even the lamp is like glowing green, which is kind of non-typical, but anyways, okay. Um, yes, all running from this here. Which is just this input here, very, very low 12 volts input. So basically the same thing going here. And just the fluorescent tube here on the top and this is, I could feel it right here from my hand. Very powerful impulse here during the discharge happening over here every time that discharges I just have a um, one of my capacitors here look at the wire the wires flicker just with the something a little something different I added the light bulb and just to show you the strength those lightnings are very thick so there's a lot of current and very lengthy see that so this is the return well the ground of the high voltage here just lightly touching the light no no real closing the loop and then one side of the Tesla coil going all around here and then into the uh, light here also a space of the coax this discharges but the magic is in here and all around the globe sometimes there's about three and a half inches of and these are so um, intense because I could actually feel them in my face every time there's a discharge from wires move around I could feel it in my bones and my table here every time there's a I don't know if you can see that But it, it moves my table every time there's a discharge because the ground wire is over here and it's adding pressure. Come on, I'll turn the light on. See, every time it... it, it it sinks into the table. We'll hear it. So that's like a lot of pressure. That's that longitudinal, um, those discharge. A Tesla talked about that, but he was doing crazy things like destroying wires with a lot more. But my point is here, I've got peanuts running this and I'm getting all this output. I just want to show you, it's an idea I wanted to test crudely here. So I'm going to have to refine and fine tune and all this and get it going faster, but essentially in crude form. And you can hear it charging and discharging. And those are all impulses all the time, all AC. And we're building it up and the, discharging it through the lamp. could literally feel that. There's a glare so it's hard to get the lightning.
and close the light in the kitchen. I want to show you the lightning. But it's like with the configuration with all three, the Tesla coil, the light on this side, and the ground here. It all works together, it seems. Because I wasn't getting these big sparks just from the oscillator on its own without all of this setup here. And you can hear it like resetting itself. And just a little hint I had about Don Smith saying, you know, his coils don't heat up, so I figured, you know, maybe he's doing something capacitive with it. Just something I'm trying out. This is kind of like to set up another potential difference in the noise. And you can hear it. <laughs> it helps with the high frequency. But it like discharges green. Like, this is crazy. This one here, can't even touch it. I put my hand around here. And I'm feeling the pressure. Every time you hear that boom there, I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my face. Just from standing here, in my face. That's probably putting out x-rays too, now come to think of it. This is well over 200,000 volts. High current. This is crazy. I've never, I've never really seen it fire green before off the fluorescent tube. And like I said, I'm just using that to set up my noise, you know, around this coil here. But the, the, the light bulb is really like um, allowing the capacitive effect to stack and discharge properly. I really like this. I'm gonna refine this. And we're on a good start because the power supply is really efficient, as you've seen in my earlier video. We're using nothing to drive any of this. This should all this would be like not possible without an external sink, which all the noise and everything that once you understand is not so. So I'm just updating. Look at the light bulb. This is how much voltage there is here and how thick. So this is about four or five inches. Just just the, the glass insulator, the negative going into the coax, looping through all of this here, back into my module. Oh, look at the light. Try not to get that here. See those big discharges? Wow. That really zaps me. Even holding the wire, the insulator can't. Zaps like that is crazy. Oof. But the thing is, I have very little curve in driving this, but I'm getting like watts and watts of peak discharges here at super high voltage. See here? Dielectric. Oof.